of Behemoths, Ikora. We finally, finally are opening up some more Magic the Gathering on this week of Sunday Booster Cracking. It's time to lock this thing down. I finally got a box in, and I'm pretty excited to open this thing up and uh, see what our Godzilla box topper is and what kind of crazy cool monsters we can pull. Got a nice new setup here. Looks pretty nice. I'm pretty happy with it since I've been collecting all these Force of Wills in the meantime while waiting for these uh, magic cards to come in. So yeah, we're gonna jump into this Ikora box and see what kind of sweet artwork and sweet Godzilla cards we can get. So yeah, let's, uh, let's crack this thing open. Let me know what you guys think about the new setup. Leave a like, leave a comment. And, ooh, yeah, that was nice and easy to open. Very nice, very nice. So I don't know how I'm going to do it today. I don't know if we'll do half the box or the whole box, but there's our box topper. We're going to save that. We're going to save that. I'm going to put it right back here for now. And, yeah, I think we're just going to get straight into this thing and see what we can find in this little King Kong action on this pack. All right. Oh, yeah. Snare Tactician. Hopefully the lighting's good. Had to set this all up again. Lava Serpent. Oh, Brushwag. Nice popper card. I'm putting all those to the side. Sandworm. Spring Draw Chap. Trap. Uh, Will of the Hunter. Clash of the Titans. Caprador. And Crystalline Giant as our rare. What's behind it? Oh, yes. That's got to be the best. <laughs> that's got to be the best first pack pull everywhere. <laughs> Especially for me. Sea Dasher Octopus, full art, foil, extended, borderless, showcase, whatever you want to call it. Ah, this is my boy. This is our Simic boy right here. If you guys like Simic Flash, uh, make sure to check out the arena videos I have of that. If you already have, then smash the like for getting this pull on the first pack. That is, that is awesome. Nice Tranquil Cove. Oh, man, I'm so happy about that. That is very good. Ooh, 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 I'm excited now. Oh, these packs open so smooth, too. No issues whatsoever. Lava Certain. Glimmer Bell, decent card if you're drafting. Dead Weight. Sun Spinnerets. Mole. Suffocating Fumes. Decent board wipe for Popper. Uh, Crystal, very nice. Dracus, a Mutate. Ooh, Dawn Waker. Our first companion card. Very nice. I don't think I've seen a lot of play with this one, so it's probably not worth a ton. We want to go for, like, the Luris and stuff if we're getting good companions or Gigan. Uh, but, yeah, I'll take it. I mean, it's a beautiful card. All these companions are really sweet. Let's see what's behind it. A nice Shark Typhoon. Foil Rare. Man, we're just... We're doing some good stuff right now. I like it. I like it. Keep it going. Keep it going here. Boom, boom, boom. All right. Vantasaur. Good cycling card. Raptor. I love the artwork on that one. Wilt, Commando, Light of Hope, decent popper card too. Aegis Turtle, Mentor, Mentor, Thundermane, and ooh, Gigantha, the Wellspring. Man, we're just banging it out with these companions now. Gigantha's not bad. Gigantha's uh, not bad at all, actually. Uh, don't know the value of this one. I, I really don't know the value of a lot of these in this set, but we will find out. Nice Thornwood. I know some of the, the bigger cards, like the more expensive stuff. Some of these uh, mid-tier rares and stuff, I don't quite know. Phase Dolphin, decent card. Adventurous Impulse, Classic Reprint, Sleeper Dart, Convolute, Fangs, Halbonder, uh, Lurker. We want a Nightbonder. I want to get a Foil Nightbonder. Mythos of Vedroke. Uh, that is our rare. Very cool. Behind it, just forced. All right, let's open another King Kong pack. He did us right on the first pack. Let's see if he can do us right on this one. Solid footing, frost links, ram through. Pulling that out for my uh, my infect deck. Very good card for infect. Thwart the enemy, tiger reflexes, path rescuer breach, lava brink venturer. Probably just a bulk rare. Rugged highlands, not bad, not bad. What are these? Oh. Oh, they actually gave these out in the packs. How cool. So these are your uh, what are they? called exactly uh they've got a name but they're your little counters for your mutates and stuff uh they'll say like place a first strike counter on a creature or a hex proof and you get to choose so that's pretty neat that they actually included like the little ah cut out cut out thing so boom creatures got reach now voila 
I did not know that they were going to include those, but I'm glad they did. That's a very good idea. Makes the packs a little bit more uh, special. Ooh, we got the nice little Thieving Otter. Very nice. Good draft card. Petron, Destruction, Pangola, Blazing Volley, Sabretooth, Mentor Mentor, Mamba. Ooh, we got the Ferocious Great Shark. Uh, I think he's the one I want to get in the showcase uh, alternate version. He looks pretty sweet, but decent card. Some people have been playing with it on Arena. Don't know how much the value is. Uh, behind it, Auspicious Sterex as our Foil Mutate guy. Pretty sweet looking. I'm going to try to cruise pretty fast. This might be a longer video if we end up doing the whole box. Usually we split them up, but uh, I'm pretty stoked for Ikora. And I've got another box coming in on Monday and a pre-release kit. So we're going to have plenty to open. So I might just start off with a bang here. Offspring's Revenge as our rare cool little tiger cat thing. Not bad. And behind it, a Aura Pacifism Foil. Look at that foil. It's got a nice shine to it. Next one, Dranus Stinger. Classic cycler card now. If you've seen the Popper Storm videos of Popper Cycling Storm, pretty sweet combos. Fully grown Aegis Turtle, Symbiote, Light of Hope, Shredded Shredded, blah, blah, blah. Fox, that Fox guy is pretty good, actually. Uh, Redren Triome. These uh, full arts or extended art variant versions of the Triumphs can uh, reach a pretty penny. I don't know how much all of them go for, uh, but not bad, not bad. I did a nice Scarab Barons. Keep it coming. Oh, 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 this one's opening weird. This one's opening very weird. That's all right, we're going to get it, we're going to get it. We got a tentative connection right here at the front. Solid footing. We'll go through these a little bit faster. Another bushwag. Nice. Suffocating fumes. Cloud Piercer. Want to get the alternate of this one too. Really cool. Uh, charge. Empathy. Ooh, sweet. Our first showcase. Or, or are they? Are these the showcase technically? I think they're just the showcase, right? But they're the alternate art showcases. Uh, Glowstone Recluse. Just an uncommon, not a foil or anything. But man, these showcased artworks are. Ah, oh, they are something else. They are so cool. I'm putting all of them to the side, basically. Uh, Mentor. Ooh, Eerie Ultimatum. That's a decent one. That's a decent rare. I like it. I like it. That's got to be some value right there. I'll take it. On to the next, starting with a startling development. Maybe we can end with a startling development at the end of this pack. Mysterious Egg. Thwart the enemy, Sky Bonder, not the Night Bonder. Ah, there's our Night Bonder. All right, let's go. Cunning Night Bonder, such a good card for this Simic Flash build. Such a good upgrade, making everything cheaper and making him uncounterable. Very sweet. And we got another Ultimatum, Emergent Ultimatum. All right, I don't think this is one of the more uh, costly Ultimatums, uh, not from what I can remember, but I'll take it, I'll take it. Ooh, I am recording today, and it is like 72 out. And my upstairs is making me boil, 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 boil. So another incentive for me to go fast so I can turn my fan back on. Oh, lockdown. Ooh, there we go. Symbite. Ooh, Umori, the collector. Awesome. Ah, man. I, I like getting these companions. They're, they're sweet. I don't know if they're going to last long in, <laughs> in Magic, depending on bands and things like that. But uh, Umori's not bad. He's not a bad uh, one to get, that's for sure. And Swiftwater Cliffs. Let's get some more of these. Man, does this set even have planeswalkers? It does, doesn't it? No one even like cares about the planeswalkers in these uh, in this set. I feel like Serrated Scorpion. That's making its way into Popper. Uh, anticipate Pouncing Shore Shark. Very cool. Oh yeah, Huntmaster Liger. It's a Liger, everybody. Oh man, that is sweet. I love it. I love these things. All right, Song of Creation, not bad either, not bad at all. I think this has seen a little bit of play, not a ton, but we'll see what the value is. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right. Well, any of you uh, YouTube viewers out there that are subscribed, I just started a TikTok. Yeah, I'm trying to hit all the platforms. I know, ooh, another ram through, very nice. Uh, so if you want to follow me on TikTok, I'll be doing more updates and more like cool videos on just the day to day and the uh, like any updates on stuff I get, things like that. I do that on Instagram as well. But uh, yeah, if you want to follow me on TikTok, you can. We got Yorin Sky Nomad. Uh, not bad. A little bit of play, a little bit of play. That's, that's all. That's all. 
If you follow me on TikTok, it's going to be Lockdown5151, two 51s in there. So Lockdown5151, uh, unfortunately Lockdown51 was taken. A little slow on the TikTok game, I guess, so uh, it is what it is. All right, we got Necro Panther. Ooh, Bonder Prodigy. Uh, Mythic. I don't think it's worth a whole lot, though. Yeah. And a nice foil plummet. We're doing a decent pace. Decent, decent pace. Oh, oh, oh. If these packs would open. There we go. Oh, we got our little gorilla. Our tiger gorilla. Tiger gorilla. Officer. Mammoth. Bug. Gremlin. Scatter. Plummet. Healer. Claws. Forever Beast. Harvester, not bad. Uh, the Ozolith is our rare. Don't know what that one's valued at either. I guess we'll have to wait and see. With the backwater and more of these. Oh yeah. Come on. Keep safe. I like the artwork on this one. Very cool looking. Been friendship fully grown. Pacifism. Light of hope. Monsters. Mentor. Mythos of Iluna. Hmm. Uh, I don't know. I don't think these mythos go for a whole lot, honestly. We still got a few cards, so we got a foil. Mentor. Frill scare mentor? Eh, yeah, nothing there. I think we're gonna cruise. I think we're just gonna cruise this whole box here. Another otter? Why not, right? I'm trying to get to 400 subscribers right now, and we're only like five away, so if you guys enjoy the video, make sure to subscribe. We're doing openings every Sunday. There's our first showcase uh rare that we've gotten uh besides the octopus which was our borderless foil but everquill phoenix uh not bad some interesting artwork on that one i think there's other ones that are cooler but i'll take it it's the non-foil though we'll see what that one goes for behind it a petron foil though on to the next here oh friday night magic there we go tiger gorilla again Bargain, Bond, Snare, Evolving Wilds, Plummets, Reflexes, Lurker, Smasher, and Mythos of Brokos. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm going to have to learn all the values of all these cards. It's uh, Everything's up in the air with uh, the pandemic and everything. It's kind of making prices skewed. A lot of people are playing online, so I don't know how sales have been as far as paper goes. Uh, but I know these Godzilla cards have made uh, people want to buy the set. Cub Warden as our rare. Nice mutate card. Very cool. And a Skycat Sovereign foil rare. He looks pretty sweet. Ah, I think this isn't a bad card to get, actually. He's uh, he's pretty decent. Uh, I guess we'll have to see the value on that one. Uh, but in any case, making all the prices potentially skewed and a little weird since a lot of people couldn't purchase how they normally do. Had to purchase offline and things like that. So we'll see how it affects the secondary market. I think it's going to fluctuate quite a bit. But we got uh, Vulpikeet. Sounds like a Pokemon. Kind of looks like one too, just drawn more realistically. Foxbird as our showcase. Very nice. Bootnipper, Shimmer. Oh, a second showcase. All right, I'll take it. Majestic uh, Oriacorn. He's pretty sweet looking. All right. Two showcases. I'll, yeah, I'm down with that. Whirlwind of Thought as our rare. Uh, whenever you cast a non-creature spell, draw a card. Hmm. All right. Might go in a few decks. Let's keep going. Vantasaur, Gust of Wind, Bristling Boar, Deadeye here on charge. Cloud Piercer, let's go. Isn't that some sick showcase? That is awesome artwork for Cloud Piercer. I definitely wanted to get him. Uh, I want to get a foil of it, though, for sure. And they're not expensive because obviously it's a common. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy to pull that one. That one's yeah, really cool looking. All right, Subdue, Zenith Flare, and our rare Genesis Ultimatum. That's one of the better ones. That's not bad. That's not bad. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll show the price. I, I don't know, man. I'm like going in super blind on these prices this time. Usually I know a little bit more. Not this time, though. Not this time. Oh, well. All right. Go for Blood. Bond. Convolute. Mysterious Egg. Churn. Draphid. Dragon. Wolf Bear. Remembrance. Ubosh. The Prey Piercer Companion. Man, he must not be worth anything, because I haven't seen anything about him. I don't remember him being a companion. Uh, so I doubt he has value. I don't think he's seen any play. Maybe some people are trying to jam him, but... Oh, just want to get through these so I can open that Godzilla. 
Oh man, what if we pull the Space Invader? Space Invader death, I can't say it on the internet right now or else your YouTube video gets taken down. Yeah, potentially extinction event, uh, I think just a bulk. So it's, it's obviously my first choice to get the Space Invader Godzilla card from this uh, sealed promo, but uh, the other good card to get is the Ghidorah card. I think in some cases that might even go for more than the Space Invader, which is surprising, but it is a really powerful card, a variant of a really powerful card. And uh, so the Ghidorah variant of it makes it pretty awesome. Ruinous Ultimatum. Man, we are getting all the Ultimatums. Uh, again, not one I really recognize, so I don't think this one is worth a whole lot of value, but yeah. So what did you guys pay for the Ikora box that you purchased? Uh, that was one of the other interesting things. Prices were kind of all over the, uh, over the place. 95, 100, 117, 107. I got mine. I, I just looked and looked. Uh, Hair on showcase, pretty sweet looking. He looks pretty creepy. I looked a lot for mine. I got mine for like 87 for the box, which wasn't bad. Gem Razor. Now there's a good rare. Very nice. Yeah, the showcase of him is really, really, really sweet actually. But he's a good pull. I'm glad I got him. And a nice saber tooth foil. So yeah, leave a comment down below. What did you guys have to pay for your box? Let me know. All right, another Glimmer Bell. Cathartic Reunion, Naturalist, Dark Bargain, Sabretooth, Fumes, Mission. Ooh, another Recluse. All right, we got him, though. Ooh, Regan Trium, the Showcase version. Alternate art. I, I need to figure out the actual names of what this is, but... <laughs> Not bad. A nice full art triumph. This isn't the big one that you want to get, uh, the more expensive one, uh, but I'll take it. They look really sweet. Again, just love the artwork on those. Oh man, it feels like I've been opening so many packs and we still got so many to go. We're just going to fly through now. Got to speed this up a little bit. Memory Leak, Moloch, Mentor Tactics, another Mori. All right. Not bad. I'll take that. Definitely want to find a Luris. I would love to pull a Luris because it is a cool looking card. All right, sorry, I'm trying to go faster. I'm going to give myself a paper cut with how fast I'm going. Cloud Piercer, Wild Bonder, Necro Panther, uh, Cyclone, Unpredictable Cyclone as our rare. All right. And a Dracus foil. Pretty sweet looking. Foils look nice in this set. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, we're, we're just going to skip through a little bit here to like the uncommons. There we go. All right, uh, Unstable Hemiophage. He looks gnarly, man. Gnarly Nightmare. That is a cool showcase. Enforcer and an Eerie Ult. Sweet. I had to pause the recording because I think I ran out of memory, so I had to double check and make sure we are all right on that. Something popped up on my screen. Uh, but we're going to finish up because we are almost done with this thing, so... Let's do this. Uh, Nar, trumpeting Nar. Very nice. Uh, weird looking showcase, though. Tiger, or Liger, I should say. Oh, 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 I just dropped him. Oh, Aluna, Apex of Wishes. That is the mythic you want to see. One of the more expensive mythics in the set. This is the Ghidorah card. Uh, the variant Ghidorah is this card. Uh, really sweet. That is a good card to pull. Holy crap. Yes, and I like just straight away just dropped him for no reason. Go for the blood as a foil, but boom, Aluna. We sold six more packs. Holy cow. This is going to be a little bit of a longer one than what I'm used to. I usually try to make the videos around 10 to 12 minutes for Sunday booster crackings, but every once in a while, go, we'll go a little bit longer. All right, Bonders, Encla Enclave, or Enclave. Uh, don't know the value, so we'll move on. Keep it coming, keep it coming. I'm just going through in case we hit any showcases, I, I guess, because I thought I might have missed one in that last pack, but I didn't. Another ramp through, very nice. Plenty of those. Wolf Bear, Lead the Stampede, the new printing. Mythos of Nethroi, all right. Just another Mythos. Behind it, Mountain. Boom, all right. Friendship, Tactician, Out of Mind, Stinger. Destruction, fully grown, coil bug, boar, charge, hitting everything, migratory, great horn. He looks dumb as hell. All right, sorry. <laughs> night bonder, let's go. Our second night bonder. Boom, I'll take it. And Garuga, the macro sage, companion, hippopotamus, alligator, whatever he is, hippo dinosaur. Uh, yeah, dinosaur hippo, yeah. <laughs> not bad, not bad. Some people are playing with them. Uh, some people are. Yeah, that's uh, that's not bad. I'll, ta I'll take that. 
three more packs. Holy cow. We're, we're doing it, man. We're going in. We are going in. Snare, Mission, Crystal, Flame Spill, Behind It, Inspired Ultimatum. Uh, again, don't really recognize this one as being a higher price one, but we'll see. And behind it, a Commando Foil. Love the... Yeah, foils look really nice. All right, we're just gonna move this box out of the way now, I think. Because we've only got two more packs. These two right here. And this one's just not wanting to open very good for me. Frost Length, Sergeant, Otter, Deadeye, Mammoth, Scorpion, boom, 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 boom. Labyrinth, Raptor, really cool artwork on that one. I like that one. Nightmare Dinosaur, rare. Don't think it has a lot of value, just a bulk. And Dismal Backwater. One more big hit, let's go. Come on, one more big hit. Let's do it. And then we open that Godzilla. Our box topper. Ram through, we got a bunch of the ram throughs. Symbiotes, Light of Hope, Sleeper Darts, Legosaurus, whatever its name is. Ah, Garuda, Doom of the Depths. Yeah, all right. Sweet, that's a good companion to get. Yeah, really good. We got some good uh, companion pulls. Not a lot of foil uh, companion pulls, which is unfortunate. I didn't get a Luris, but uh, I guess we'll have to get it in the next box or something. But I'll take a Garuda. That's not bad. Look at all the showcases we got. Not bad. Uh, I feel like we got a good amount of them and a couple rares as well, too, which I'll go over. But pretty sweet. How many showcases did you guys pull? Leave a comment down below. All right. Here it is. Sealed product. Not for resale. The Ikora box topper Godzilla card. Let's see what we can get. Got to open it a little bit carefully here. Let's see. I don't know what side it's going to be on. Uh, this side. All right. There we go. There we go. All right. Let's see. Let's see who we got. Boom. Oh. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Ghidorah. King of the Cosmos. Here I am talking about it, like half the video, and we got Ghidorah. Not the Space Invader, uh, but I am fine with this because holy crap, is this a good card to pull? I want to say this goes for like over a hundred bucks. Uh, oh my gosh, that's a banger. Oh, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe because that is awesome. Holy crap, we're going to go through our rares of the day too, but we're going to set that right there to be put into a, a nice sealable case. But we'll go through our other picks of the day. Here's our nice Sea Dasher Octopus, which was fantastic. I put some of the Triomes in here and all the Ultimatums we got. How many Ultimatums did you guys get? And then look at all of these uh, freaking companions we got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven companions? Crazy. Two of the Yamori. Um, yeah, super, super awesome. A Gem Racer, and then of course... Aluna Apex of Wishes, the normal version, which can go right alongside here with the Ghidorah. Oh my goodness. Uh, I think we did pretty well. Price is up on screen now for how we did. Again, I spent like 87 on the box, so did we make our money back? Uh, how have you guys been doing with pulls? I've been hearing mixed reviews on uh, as far as value goes out of the boxes. I've been hearing a little bit of a mixed review, so we'll see how we did. But yeah, leave a like, leave a comment. Holy crap, man. That is awesome. Yeah, stay tuned. We're going to open up a lot more of uh, Ikora here. Again, another box coming in next week and a pre-release kit. So stay tuned for that. Subscribe. We will see you guys in the next video.